Well, it seems there's a space controversy brewing over the decision to downgrade Pluto. Some scientists have started a petition to get Pluto reinstated as a full-fledged planet. We wanted to get the reaction of stargazers here. We took our camera to the Johnson Geo Center in St. John's. As visitors to the building know, the Geo Center is home to the largest model of the solar system in the province. What plans do they have for their Pluto? And what do some of these Geo Center planet watchers think about this latest news? Okay, we're here now with Nathan and Megan Ridley. We're underneath the solar system, actually, and Pluto is still up there, I think, or at least the last time I looked, it was. Now, Nathan, uh, tell me, what do you think of Pluto being downgraded? I think it should um, not be downgraded because uh, I like the planet a lot, and um, it's one of my favorite planets. Why is Pluto uh, so popular with you? Because... Um, I like the dog Pluto for a show. Oh, yeah. from the cartoons. Yeah. yeah, Mickey Mouse and Pluto. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you like the name Pluto. Yeah. Do you, do you know it's been downgraded to a dwarf planet? Yep. So you don't, you don't like that idea? No. So do you think that they should still keep it up here uh, with the solar system? Yes. Okay. Megan, what do you think about uh, Pluto being downgraded? I think that the Pluto should go downgraded. Do you like it? Do you like looking at it up there above your head? It's the it's the little one. Do you know which one it is? Well, I don't really know, but I think it's that one right there. No, sweetie, it's not. No, it's it's back behind you. It's even smaller than that one, <laughs> which is actually why they're why they're downgrading it because it's so small. Do you, think it, do you think it's big enough to be a planet, though, Nathan? Well, all of them are really big, and, and it's the last bigot, but it is pretty small. You know they've added uh, three more dwarf planets as well. What ones are they? Uh, Ceres, uh, Chiron, and uh, one called 2003-UB313. Never, I never heard of them. I think maybe they should come up with a new name for the last one, don't you? Yes. Okay, well, thank you. Now we're actually going to find out from Paul Dean here at the uh, Geo Center what, what you're going to do with uh, Pluto. Are you going to keep it up there or what? Well, for now, Carl, yes, we are. Uh, we think it is a, a dwarf planet, and it is part of one of those objects that does go around the sun, so it is part of the, the solar system. And uh, astronomers tell us that they are likely to discover more of these kinds of objects. So we think for teaching purposes and for talking to people like Nathan, uh, it, there's a bit of history here. It was once a planet. It's no longer a full planet. Uh, but we think is illustrating the dwarf planets, it would be good to have uh, an object in the geocenter that would illustrate what a dwarf planet looks like. Great. Okay, so Pluto stays up there, but obviously you're going to have to change your storyboard. We are going to have to change the storyboard. There's no, there's no question about that. Yeah. And, uh, and our storyboards currently say there is always controversy about Pluto, whether it should have been a planet first when it was designated so in, in 1930. And so we, we tell that story. But for people who come to visit, like Nathan, or people who come as part of school classes, uh, we will be changing our story to say there is now a new category of planets, and, and the best illustration is Pluto. Okay, well, you've heard it from the man, folks. Uh, Pluto stays, at least as far as the solar system display here at the Geo Center is concerned. And I want to thank uh, my guests for uh, talking with me today.